amazing, isn't it? Magnetism fascinates most children, boys and girls alike, and physics deals with interesting topics like forces. So why do so few girls go on to take physics at A-level? Almost all physics professors are men, and it must be quite difficult for girls to admit they like physics when it's seen as a boy's subject. And teachers may unwittingly reinforce that notion by spending more time with the boys in physics classes. And women scientists are not well represented in the curriculum, so physics is seen as a cold, dispassionate subject for boring blokes about things, not people, and girls don't like that. And yet, research shows that teachers can play a huge part in influencing pupils to take the subject. Gender and physics is an area which Professor Michael Rice from the Institute of Education has been researching. Research is still being undertaken into girls and physics today for the same reason it was ten years ago, which is that despite a lot of efforts, only about one in four students doing advanced level physics are female, and the older you get, the more extreme the statistics get. In other words, we're just losing young women from physics, despite the fact, at the age of 11, they're pretty enthusiastic about it. There are still far fewer girls than boys taking physics at A-level. In 1985, there were just over 35,500 boys and just under 11,000 girls studying A-level physics. In 2003, there were just over 23,500 boys and just under 7,000 girls. One of the general findings in this area which is encouraging from research is that there are things schools can do to get more young women to study physics. The crucial thing seems to be to have a course which really situates physics in the real world. It's got to show how physics is relevant to everyday communication, to the way we dress, to our homes, the way we live more generally, the music we listen to and so on. And in that way, physics can be accessible and interesting both to boys and to girls. At Haggerston School Hackney, they're addressing this problem with a new GCSE, 21st Century Science. Here, John Gurney is teaching modelling of electric circuits, and it's fun. What's that say? What's this say on it, Danielle? It says two times 32 watts. No, I right, bingo beats. There we go. But what a number of mixed-sex schools have tried doing, which does seem to work quite often, is having science lessons and also language lessons that are all girl or all boy. Because what you do find in that situation is that more young women end up studying physics and also more boys end up studying French and German. Girls who do take physics at A-level can do just as well as, if not better than boys. I was reading an account of a very boring physics lesson. On the only occasion when the class showed interest, the teacher suddenly said, all right, all right, settle down, everybody. There's nothing to get excited about. Physics deals with the great phenomena of the universe. There's everything to get excited about. <laughs> 